Hello everybody, I'm a simple gamer, welcome back to the Power Advance Wars 2 Reboot Camp. Still on Blue Moon. Honestly, I usually never do this, but it is time for the Neo Tank Lab map. Because that's how the missions are numbered, since I am on mission 12 now. Usually I do do the 3 first, and then I grab the Neo Tank so that I'm not tempted to like build all the Neo Tanks for these missions, even though there's probably a little chance to, but... Anyways, that's why I decided, so here we go. Base slash, move quickly, just like the first lab map, time limit. Inexcusable. Uh, justice? They've been doing a lot of stuff. And I guess I'll look up fed up here on the lab map for some reason. Okay. The man. Rivarola! There's a base or something up ahead. There it is, just like the map said. Excellent. You do have to do toy box in order to get the map. So it is weird that Ola's fed up with this and not what happened back then. Uh, I'm actually not quite sure who to use here. I kind of want to use Olaf since the map was found is in his area. But then I found the map with Max and I didn't use Max. So since Colin is the new guy, I guess I'll use Colin. I'll do my best. Let's go Colin. Honestly for her campaign, I might just use uh, Grit for fun. I think I usually use Olaf because of the superpower. Being able to like... Do two, da two damage to all the units. But using Grit might be pretty fun here. Just for a challenge at least. <laughs> now Khan pretty confident here. Backlash initiated. She definitely sounds like a robot here though. Unlike the first one where she replaced herself for a robot. MD tank, MD tank, rocket, got captured in 15 days, two bases up top. Also, silos down here. If possible, I do want the base here, but it is gonna be kind of a hard fight gang there. Same with the airport, I would love, love that as well. Well, I guess I first built my 3 infantry, and then go for the airport if possible. Same with the base. I can build an APC, which I think I will do. Okay. One, two, three. Gotta take a couple more turns to get to... Huh. Get to the airport, though. I might be better saying this guy right to also go capture him stuff. But I do want to secure these silos, though. I might just fire this one. Anyways, I do want my APC. And I guess I will build my 3 infantry. So I fire this silo, go capture, and then probably harass the infantry up there. Yeah, so that they can't capture. Especially if they are in range of each other. Which it looks like they are. You know, I should save some silos for like the top right. When I do get a unit up there to attack these three. Which is probably gonna be a tank. Since the tank should be able to one shot. Well, I say one shot, but like deal with one HP rocket and two MD tanks. So. Guess this guy goes right here. So that's the missile target. Right in the middle. As I said, save three shots. Well, I'm gonna fire three shots close to the end, though. That means I guess this is this infantry is gonna park here. But I think I would like my infantry to go a little bit farther up to harass them directly. Honestly, huh? If I drop down. Drop them down to 4, it is going to take them more turns to capture. 
Either way, I think I'm gonna go right here. And then I'll be in range to capture the base after. I can totally see myself winning pretty quickly. I think I saved my funds now. If possible, maybe build an anti- Oh, I'll probably build a... B-copter there. By the way, that's fire here. Missile target up here again. Now they're down to four. I guess I just fire one more after. And then as I say, said, uh, save the last three for the top right. Even if I have to sacrifice some units in order to secure the area. Definitely not recon. I don't want that. 6 HP. Are they gonna fuse? Honestly, if they fuse, I'm probably not gonna bother missile and them. Artillery. You say? Huh. Okay. Just thinking about what to do there. If I fire the silo, I don't have to worry about that one anymore, but then that does mean that I do want one more infantry all over on this side. Which I can spare since I will, would have my APC transporting an infantry over. I am going to be able to capture this base in two turns and then go for it. I do also got to remember that I do have to go capture the lab in order to win. So I think I do actually fire here. Drop them, drop them down to 1 HP. Like the ones capturing. And then this guy to 2. That doesn't mean this guy's going to be a full HP though. So maybe this is better. Yeah, I think this is better. Okay... Go uh, go up here, and then this guy's actually gonna... Actually, for now, I'll go full move. Which is on the side of the bomb, not gonna fire, as I already said. If there's like a tank or something that pops out, I mean, I'm gonna fire this and then run up and fight. Since I, I don't want the rocket to heal. I guess I build an infantry now. And then I can go to the APC spot next turn. Okay. I can actually start building my tank now. And it'll reach the spot up there by the time it gets there. Well, it's not like, I, like I'm building anything soon anyway, so let's see how this goes. Building the tank now. Just gotta end my turn. I just gotta remember about the time limit and not just harassing Lash top left. Down to eight. Yep, gonna be a while before Lash can capture those other bases. Which is the point of what I'm doing. Artillery's coming a little bit closer. Lash did not build anything. Okay, guess I go right there, go capture. It's actually maybe mostly for the funds actually. Just so that I can go build some more stuff if I need it, but I don't actually think I need anything else. So maybe I should have built my tank area and then went for the win. I don't actually need this base, now that I think about it. But since my tank is still back here, I'm also finished uh, capturing it and build an APC turn after maybe. And then it'll come forward after. APC goes right there. And then I'm gonna set up the silo right there. Okay, and as I said, the infantry's gonna stay there. Uh, I guess for now, I just end my turn. This guy is gonna take two turns to get to silo. Tank is gonna take a couple turns and then go up there. I think the first time I build here is actually an APC to transport this infantry after. I think. I just gotta see what that artillery goes after. Honestly, as long as it doesn't kill my infantry, it doesn't really matter which what HP my infantry is. 
still trying to capture those bases. Last year, it still only has 7k. There is a tank. Which cannot reach that infantry yet. So I guess that happens. My tank goes up here. I drop here. Oh, I can probably just drop right here. And then my APC can go up top. I can probably build like another... Oh, whoops. Almost messed that up. Good thing that end turn is not at the top of the option. Unlike some other games. Capture that. Just wondering if I could still S this, despite not going straight for the HQ. Should be doable. All my guys are almost in position. I just need one more turn in to make my tank go right here. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, shoot. Cannot reach there. I just don't want the MD tanks moving. And if I go here, the MD tanks are gonna come attack. So I do have to go there in order to get there. So I might just build another tank for fun. But I'm not gonna build anything yet. Day 6. That's finally captured. You know that's just a city. Now, let's just gotta see where that tank moves. Okay. Artillery's right there. Recon. I do gotta think about my power score though. <laughs> no, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, that guy's in position. My infantry's gonna die though. I might be able to stop the death if I do this. Attack there. I definitely don't want the tank covering the silo since I need it. Oh, this is kind of bad. This infantry has to attack their artillery. Even then, my infantry might die. I do believe the silo does give. 3 defense. So it might be okay. If it's not okay, I'm actually in trouble. So I might just run back. Yeah, like that. Ooh, the bomber for fun. Sorry, let me see how much funds I got. 8k. 8k. Yeah, I'll 10. So I can probably build another um, uh, tank, actually. Probably not the worst idea. Ah, I think I am going to use this infantry to capture a lab. Okay, no. A bomber is overkill. I think I want two tanks. One tank right here and then one tank outside the range of the MD tank. And then I'll grab myself my V-Copter. This guy's gonna park on the silo. And next turn I'll fire all the silos. Now... And that turn... I am gonna lose a couple of infantry though. The artillery's gonna attack and then... Oh, that means the only a tank can attack my infantry so it might be fine. Lash is probably gonna build an anti-air. Oh no, she doesn't have enough. Good. Both my infantry are actually fine. Since they're covering each other and then there's an infantry up top and then artillery to the right blocking the way. As long as the tank doesn't go on the silo, I'm good. Hopefully the AI is not smart like that. Good. Went on the woods. Nash didn't build anything. Oh wait, I gotta wait one more turn in order to do what I want to do. Because this tank's not in position. 
Okay, then I guess I put a PC right here. Just gotta double check the range to make sure I'm not uh, crazy or something. A PC right there, tangles right here. I guess I just build more V-copters, and then another tank as well. I don't want to lose a unit if I don't have to. Honestly, the safe bet would probably park my V-copter on here. But I think I should be fine if I do this. Attack him while guarding my infantry. And then if someone does park on the silo. I guess a second B-cop this should be enough to attack them. Infantry can't reach the silo and then then artillery can't attack anything. Heck, I might as well just grab a third tank. For fun, right there. Park other infantry and eight days left. And that turn... Now what's Slash gonna do? Still 1 HP. Sorry, yeah. One more HP to capture that. I'm totally fine with this. Attack my B-copter. Get that counter in. Only 2 damage. Wow, that sucks. Well, it is Slash on the city. So there's that. So that's some terrible damage. Three is a lot better. I totally move backwards, and there's the end here. Okay. The rocket moved. That's actually good. It can't heal off the lab. Attack right there. That means I can target the tanks and kill them. Yeah, the MD tanks. And then I just gotta put my uh, APC and infantry outside the range of the rocket. Fire that one. One more right here. I mean, no matter how bad Colin's power is, I should be able to kill the MD tanks, right? Right. Let me just make sure what this. Attack right there, 13, there we go. That's a kill. Why does Khan- wait, uh, is that a surprise face? I don't think that's a surprise face. I think that's his confident face. He looks so surprised. Anyways, let's just gonna drop right here. Guess move my tank up. Uh, Antero can go 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, cover all that, so I guess I just run. Last turn, well, last two turns. I guess I just build a tank and then just call it. And I'll build an infantry here to capture those cities in case I need to. And I guess. I can probably park him right here. And then just leave this B-copter here. Since I'm not building anything on the airport anyways. And that turn... If I just leave as is, my power score is not going to be that good. But it looks like my tanks can probably go left now. Depends on where the rocket moves. Right there, so I guess I should attack it. Attacks my infantry. That's fine. My infantry's gonna like run backwards anyways. All the attacking my V-copters. Down to six. And then two back. Where's that? anti air goes right there. Can't reach my airport. The tank. I guess I capture a lab now. And then my infantry, like, don't really have much to do. 
I have so many tanks that can't reach too much stuff. Oh well. Uh, if she goes back, I'm also fuse these two for fun. Yeah, I gotta retreat over in the mountain. And then I'll think about what to do with these guys after. I might just build an RB copter in order to kill an extra unit or something. Probably. I set attack right here, even though I am gonna give Lash the city. But I do want to go across the bridge. And hopefully kill a couple units next turn. Increase my power score a little bit. Put this guy over here. Hopefully I, I can hack these infantry that are healing, like the low HP ones. That's why I'm also hoping for over here. B copter, B copter. Another B copter. This tank's too slow. Well, it's too far to do anything. It's not slow at all. Six move is good. These two. I might as well do this. And that's it. I win next turn. Day 10. So you gotta see where last two units move. Maximize my kills. I think I can attack the infantry with my B-copter. Judging by the map. Down to... Wow, two. Crazy. Even without Lash's power or superpower. Artillery tank. Yeah, this is when... The map gets kinda scary. If I wasn't ready to capture the lab. Well, how much cities and funds Lash has. Okay, not enough for power, but I should be able to finish off a couple units here. Ah, I can't reach the infantry, that's a little bit sad. I think I can only kill the tank, actually. Up here I can kill the infantry. Not this infantry, because my tank's a little bit too weak. I guess I attack here. Like so. Get that one kill with the one tank that can actually attack something. It's only real target. This guy can attack him. Up here. Gotta pick off the weak uni units that were weakened by Silo. Definitely a very cavalry mindset, I gotta say. But whatever. As long as it increases my score and doesn't give me the zero, like uh, the other map, well, the first factory map with Orange Star. If I want to attack something, it's only the infantry on the city or a recon in the woods. That sounds terrible. Uh, yeah, that sounds just terrible. Oh, that does do decent damage though to the infantry, surprisingly. I guess I'll do that. Maybe I'll drop down to 4 or something. No, my 6 HP B copter can't do it. Then there's no point in attacking. I guess I just capture them. Okay. Done. 7 days. Definitely could've done it earlier. If I actu actually just sacked the left side. Use this new weapon, a new battle. Yes. Next battle. Olaf. I don't think Olaf mission's next. I'll have to see if Olaf. Oh. Really Woo, still got a 100 power score. Let's go. Even though I only destroyed, like, what, 6 units? Yeah, I, I guess that's fine. But uh, as I was saying, gotta see if Olaf, if what Olaf's saying is true or not. Whether it is his mission next, and if he'll be able to deploy the Neo tank. Two week test, T minus fifteen, T minus fifteen. It is Olaf. I do believe it's mostly pre-deployed though. Yeah, so. 
I don't think I'll be able to build a Neo tank there. Sorry, Olo. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.